My name is Mr. Bloom and I'd like to come to see you soon. I'm out on the road, you see, here and there, so that we can get together and have some fun. I'll help you out if there's work to be done. So where is it you like to go? Call me up and let me know. What is it you like to do? I'll pop along and do it too. Cities, towns, the countryside. I can travel far and wide. I'm all about and everywhere. I'm here and there. Oh, hello there, Tiddlers. How are you tiddling? <laughs> Mr. Bloom here. Now, I like going out and about. Yeah. I like going here and there to do lots of fun things and find out about new places. And I'm wondering, what do you like to do where you live? Perhaps um, you might like to go swimming with your family or go to the park with your friends. Oh, hey, it looks like someone's got in touch. Right, well, let's see who it is. Hello, my name is Flynn and I like to come to Smiddles Hall with my family. My grandpa used to work here and used to bring my dad when he was a little boy. Now my dad brings me here. We planted a tree for my granddad and we come here to water it. Sometimes when we come here I meet my friends. I'm Ben, and I like to come to the hall with my family too. We like to walk in the grounds and explore the hall. We like to come here because there's so much to see. And lots to learn about. We, we can't, can't wait to show you around, Mr Bloom. Bloom. Hey, well that sounds like a great idea. I'd love to come. Will I end up next? Let's put my route finder to the test. It could be a beach, a village, or a city, museum, or a school, a garden so pretty, a church, or a station, a river, or town. I just can't wait till you show me around. Tiddlers, I'm on my way. So, where am I today? Hey, it's a bit grand, isn't it? Glad my wellies aren't mucky. Now, uh, Flynn and Ben should be round here somewhere. We could try inside. I'll ask at the information desk. Hello, Mr Bloom. Welcome to Smithles Hall. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm looking for Flynn and Ben. I don't suppose you've seen them. I think you might find them in the library. Ah, fantastic. Hey, hello there, Ben. Hello, Flynn. Hello, Mr Bloom. <laughs> hey, it's nice to meet you here today. And uh, look at this library. It's a bit special, isn't it? Yeah, it's from the Victorian times. Oh, well, that's a long time ago to you and me, eh? Would you like a tour of the rest of the house? You bet your welly boots I would. Come on, then, you lead the way. Tiddlers. I wonder what's up there. Oh, that leads to bedrooms. We really? don't go up there. All right, let's go. Ooh. Hello there. Hello. You are most strangely dressed. You must be servants. Be off with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looked like a Victorian lady. It's a bit fancy in here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, hey, well, do you reckon the bill's tea pots? You fancy a cup of tea from there? No, that'd be a bit too old for us. Pine cones in the fireplace. Mm. I imagine. I don't know. Must be a pine fire. You reckon? Probably. Let's keep going. The Victorian rooms were added onto an older building, and some parts of Smith Hills Hall are almost 700 years old. Mm. Flynn and Ben took me to see them and to meet two of their friends from school. Wow, look at this room. It's 
It's like it's been wallpapered in wood. Yeah, it's from Tudor times. Ooh. Yeah, that's all the Victorian rooms. Hey, is that so? And uh, who've we got here? My name is Freya. And I'm Marianne. And this is Jackie. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you. And uh, Jackie, I'm sure we've met before. Um, weren't you dressed in the Victorian costume in the other room? Yes, that's right, I was. <laughs> so, what are you up to? Well, we've been making our own shields. Oh, they're pretty good, aren't they? Yeah, they're like these coats of arms. You know, these coats of arms, they're a bit like name badges for all the people that used to live here. And I was reading about one person that visited this house once. He was a bit special. He was called George Marsh. We've heard of him. We can show you his footprint. Right, let's go. We'll see you later. Bye. George Marsh was a Bolton farmer who came to the hall over 500 years ago. Hey, old tiddlers. What's this here? It's George Marsh's footprint. This only covers it inside. You see the actual real thing. Right, well, let's have a look. He was accused of making a crime. He stamped his foot down so hard when he said he was innocent. Really? Wow, look at that there. He must have stamped his foot very hard, don't you think, Flynn? Yeah. Yeah, do you reckon you could leave a footprint like that? No. No, no. Well, let's carry on with our journey. Now, I've got all inspired by George Marsh. You know, the man who they say left his footprint here. So how about we leave our mark, but we can use our hands, can't we? Yeah? So let's find a place for your hand. Give your fingers a good luck, Wiggle. And then here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, that's it. Push nice and hard. We leave our handprints in the oh. place. All right. Do you think you've done it? No. No? no? We'll push harder. Eve-ho! <laughs> all right, here we go. So, I'll count to three and then we'll take them out, all right? Here we go. One, two, three. Gently take them out. Ooh, it tickles. And look, look, there we are. One, two, three, four, five. And prints. I wonder if these will last as long as the footprint. The Great Hall is the oldest part of Smithills, and once upon a time, People slept, ate and danced, all in this one big room. Boys, forward three. Clap three. Jackie is showing some other tiddlers a Tudor dance. And clap three. Girls, forward three. And clap three. Get back three. Hey, tiddlers, I think we've found your friends. Although, I think we've come a bit underdressed, haven't we? You're wearing clothes that I do not recognise. I feel that you need to change into clothes that are like ours. Oh, she's right. Yeah, they're wearing Tudor clothes. They're very old. So come on, let's see what we can find. Boys, forward three. Clap three. Step back three. And clap three. People have always loved to dance. Here are some Victorian children dancing in the streets. And this style of dancing is known as Charleston. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Ballroom dancing is very popular too. Couples dance around the floor doing lots of special steps and turns. And people often go to see ballet dancing on stage in big theatres. Whereas you can see Morris dancing at lots of country fairs and carnivals. Bangra is a style of dance that originally comes from India. Lindy Hop is very energetic. Hey, look how high the man lifts the lady! These children are performing a flamenco dance which comes from Spain. Yeah, it has lots of arm movements and foot stamping. Tap dancing is great to watch. There are special metal plates on the bottom of the shoes that tap the floor. These people are dancing in a traditional African style. 
break dancing is fantastic to watch, but uh, it's very hard to do. And now we're all dressed up, it's time for us to do some dancing. Much better. Lovely. So, what are we doing? We're joining in a Tudor dance. Right. We'll lead on. OK. Boys, your elaborate bows. Girls, curtsy. and curtsy to each other. <laughs> well, Tiddlers, I can certainly see why you enjoy coming here, because I've had a fantastic time. Have you had fun? Yeah! Yeah, well, I've got to say a big thank you to you, Flynn, and to you, Ben, for inviting me here today. It's been great. But it's time I hit the road. So, join me soon when I'll be... Hey! Everybody! Bye! Where is it you like to go? Call me up and let me know. What is it you like to do? I'll pop along and do it too. Cities, towns, the countryside. I can travel far and wide. I'm all about and everywhere I'm here.